Are you ready for another desert adventure? I believe I'm not, but I most, uh, but I believe you are certainly am. So let's go. Anyway, hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 36 of Earthbound. Okay, so here we are at Scaraba Desert, where once again we are forced to sit through what could possibly be probably like the most dumbass mechanic ever, Sunstroke. But of course, with this being another desert area, you have more desert enemies. The Dread Skelpion, which is basically a stronger version of the uh, Skelpion that we saw in the uh, Dusty Dunes Desert. And of course, Paula is, uh, you know, a uh, thing. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Anyway, uh, you have your Dread Scalpions right there. Um, I also believe that there is another Caterpillar-like enemy somewhere. Now, I'm not sure what... Paula. Please. Now, I'm not really sure if it's the criminal caterpillar again i'm pretty sure it's a different one because this is a later because this is a later area of the game and obviously you know the caterpillar is obviously you know a thing here's the pyramid by the way that we're supposed to go to but we have a whole bunch more stuff going on such as the great crested buka which you know again stronger stronger version you know all that good jazz. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? Got... Told everybody to go away when recording is in effect. Why am I forced to live under these conditions? We Unless that's a noise that has absolutely nothing to do with that. I sell water to those who are thirsty. It's expensive, though. So he sells a bottle of DX water, which cures PP. Well, you'll die of dehydration. I'm warning you. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. Um, There's really nothing else to here. I mean, aside from the caterpillar enemy, which I know is here. Which I know is here, Paula. Which I know is here. But I don't think it's for me. Okay. Oh Christ. Ugh. Jesus. And you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna get me, you poop. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me, son. Uh, now I believe the order that we're supposed to do this is... Are you a thief, a warrior, or one who has come to see my majesty? You must decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you do? Okay, so I believe the order is here, 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 and then here? At least, I hope it is. One... Two, yep. Yep. I believe that's it. Oh god. Jeez. But I don't believe we've seen this guy yet. The high class UFO. Hmm. Yes indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do believe we have a high class UFO here. Who can fire beams? Sounds, and that's about it for him, or her, or it. Yeah. Either way, uh. Anyway, I think that's it. Nope, that's not it. Hello. Hello. You're gonna hurt me. You're killing me, buddy. Oh Jesus. Hello! Okay, there we go. 
Warriors, enter now. Search for the Hawkeye. Hell yeah, boy. I am going to get interrupted by this dude. I swear to God, man, I was all like, Pictures thinking instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so for myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Posse back up. Wow, what a great photograph. I'm sure I'll just bring back the fondest of memories. He is an ASMR artist. Deal with it. Uh, I am going to find this thing if it kills me. By it, I mean the caterpillar. Who is level 39? Oh, oh, found it. Hello. Okay, so I'll put that caterpillar's name on screen right now, but look at that. 20,000 experience. This is level 52. Oh, yeah. Flexin. Paul's level 45. Jeff is 44. Jesus, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that so neat? Yet another grinding method that you might consider up on. Even though Earthbound technically doesn't really need any grinding, but you understand. You understand. Anyway, the Pyramid has the Fierce Shattered Man. <laughs> I don't know how this got past anything, but, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Again, stronger version of the Shattered Man that we saw before. In which I would recommend that you leave at least one alive. If you want to do something really, really weird later on. Pooh is level 40. Anyway. In the Pyramid, you're going to be fighting Egyptian type enemies. Because that is just how they do. That's just how Egypt do. Not really, you know, the best one, but you know what I mean. Anyway, you saw the arachnid before, but now you have the arachnid! I really don't know what's the distinguishing factor of them, but you understand that they're just basically stronger. Oh, wow. Jesus. God, that vibrating was so loud. Maybe I should turn off my vibrate on my phone. But anyway, hieroglyphs are enemies! The Guardian Hieroglyph is an enemy. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, uh, Freeze Gamma is just basically your go-to PSI ability. At this point, if you don't like wasting um, PP on, you know, Ness's PSI rockin', because, well, you're gonna need... I'm I'm basically gonna tell you. Um You're gonna wanna Ta-da! It's a Viper! You get Vipers for free. When used during battle, it bites the enemy and disappears, and it always poisons the enemy. So unlike with snakes, they actually do always poison the enemy, so that's good. That's very good. Um but, uh, yeah, uh, if you don't like wasting, uh, Ness's PP, then waste Paula's PP. Go right ahead. Be my guest. The Lethal Asp Hieroglyph, by the way. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it. Isn't it so weird? Once again, only in Earthbound can you find enemies that weird, and Battle Backgrounds this trippy. That's how you do. That is how Earthbound do. Also, the music in, like, the deserts are, like, really odd. And also, they come out of the walls, which is a big, like, what the hell? <laughs> they really they really do. It's, it's like, they come out of the thing, and it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. But anyway. Yes, the, the, the Guardian Hieroglyphs can, uh, you know, chase you. So, just be aware of that. Just be aware. Here we got a combination of the Arachnid and the Guardian Hieroglyph. So, you know what? 
we're gonna just use PSI Mithra. Even though I strongly recommend it against doing that, because Ness needs all the PP he can get. Just in case for something really bad happens. But, you know, you definitely understand. And now I feel like I just wasted it all. Oh yeah, and PSI Thunder is a thing that they can do. And there it is. There it is. Okay, let's see. Let's go over to the left. Let's go over every which way we can possibly go. Okay. Uh, let's go up. Let's go up here. In order to get to this casket. A bag of Dragonite. We're definitely going to keep that. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to try to liven up... Lighten up my inventory. With a new enemy. The Petrified Royal Guard. Uh, I'm going to try to poison this guy. See what happens. Okay. Let's see what the Petrified Royal Guard can do, because I can imagine that this guy can hurt a lot. Two hundred fifty-six. Oh! <laughs> Way to go, dude! Way to go, dude! Your entire body solidified. Well done. Or both of their bodies solidified. Well done, Viper. Which I don't even know how a Viper can. Uh, can, uh, you know, poison a hieroglyph, but, you know, it's whatever, it's all good. I probably shouldn't use, uh, regular attacks, but, you know, I want to conserve that PP. Paul is now level 46. And Freeze Omega! Ooh. The ultimate form of PSI Freeze is here. Uh... Um... I'm going to use rice gruel on poo. And use the ketchup thing. Oh. <laughs> and I just remembered why giving, you know, poo American stuff is such a bad idea. It's because the way poo's recovery works with, uh... With, uh, food is... Any dishes native to his land, which is the lamb, is very good for him. But those that aren't native or seasonings that are that are not native to his homeland are very bad. Yet another way that he kind of blows, but eh, it's all good. It's all fine. At least we got to show off Freeze Omega and what that's like. Pooh's level 41! PSI Thunder Gamma. <laughs> oh! A much better user of PSI than either Ness or Paula in certain ways. So, free as I... Free as I... Um, PSI Thunder Gamma can... Some... Can... Well... Blah, 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 blah. It strikes... It... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what happens when you get a frame fart and you record, like, late at night. Jesus. Ah! Oh, yeah, and by the way, it can cause... By the way, the hacking coughs are just basically colds. Sounds like 2020. Ness is level 53! And healing gamma, so... Even though Pooh gets it earlier than Ness, Ness can eventually learn how to heal, how to revive enemies. Eventually. Not now, but, you know, eventually. Jeff is level 45, with me almost dying to that petrified royal guard. Ah! Oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a hot second. I really, really need to heal uh, brain food lunch to Ness because he kind of needs it. Okay. See, brain food lunches are actually really, really good for, you know, recovery stuff. They really, really are. Now for Pooh, 
We can have that. And we shall we go. <laughs> Ness be smoking. Who gets a cold? Uh, that will be healing, uh, beta for him. Anyway, PSI Thunder strikes three times. There, I said it. <laughs> I can't believe I actually brain farted over that. Like, oh my god. How could I be so stupid? Ta-da! Speed Capsule! Okay. Okay, I'm, uh, giving that to Ness. Immediately. All right, what's in here is a cup of life noodles. Okay, I'll gladly take that too. That's what Thunder Gamma looks like. Doesn't it look neat? Why does every time I fight one of these things, I always end up with a cold? Jeez. Maybe this guy's the reason for why 2020 sucked. Well, I mean, sucks so, so far, but you know, eh, eh. That's another topic for another day. I should probably be using healing alpha instead of beta because I I swear it's uh, uh wait, where's it okay, here it is. <laughs> I don't even know where anything is for like a second. You know that feel that Paula is doing way more damage than Pooh? Yeah, I get that feel all the time. It, it's 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 yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing. Um, I believe we have a tough fight up out of ahead. Uh, so, uh, I'm thinking I'm giving the, uh, oh, we have, oh, I thought we had only one left. Okay. I was thinking we only had one more brain food lunch to go, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Let's do it. The Guardian General! I am going to put up a shield, but not for him, but for me. We're going to be using all of the stops. Uh, no. I want to see, I want to be able to see what he does. And as for us, we can start off with Shield Sigma right away. Alright. Do the thing, Ness! Do the thing. Shield Sigma is just awesome. All right, what do you got? We got made something spin around, so he can steal PP in addition to using his regular, you know, bits of attacks and all that. So, yeah, definitely watch out for that. Um, I'm going to. I don't know if this overwrites the shield on the regular shield, but you know what? Whatever. We have a regular shield up, but we can use offense up to get us up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's try Thunder Gamma. Let's do it. Yeah, let's actually buff ourselves up for now. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> okay. Uh, now, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep on. Actually, no. Let's do Mithra Gamma. Uh, freeze Gamma, because I don't want to waste too much PP. I want to spy on him to see what he can do, and, uh, Pooh, you can try again. Yeah, that's incredible defense, actually. And that's it. Didn't even need to use defense down. Paula's now level 47! Pooh's now level 42! Yeah, boy. That's what we're talking about right there. Oh, God. Oh, uh, mummy wrap. Okay. I mean, I didn't really use it last time, but here it is anyway. Rain pendant. Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounds like something up above is moving. Aha. Aha. You see... During the battle transition, we saw briefly up on the main room that that something was not of right. Ooh. Something could possibly be wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm going to heal up before things 
get a little bit bad. <laughs> Okay, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Ooh! Sun Guts Pill! Okay, alright, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it! Wait. Hold on. If that was a 1 in 128 item, if that was a 1 in 128 item, I am going to be so. No, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, lucky me, I guess. Okay, so we're just gonna skip this fight right here. Ness is level 54! Ness is flexing! Level 46 for Jeff as well! Nice, everybody's getting a workout. Ah, oh, God! <laughs> Pool's level 43! Okay, down the hole, please! And here we go. There is something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Hell yeah, I do! Paula got the Hawkeye. We got it. We got it. Um, I'm not gonna be able to run away from this guy, am I? Oh, yes, I am! <laughs> Good! Because, uh, hey everyone, let me tell you a story about how I got so many critical hits. I've gotten more critical hits in this one place than I have done than I have done with any other place combined. Um, yeah, screw it, I'm gonna go for it. So yeah, I got more critical hits in this one place than I have done in any other place combined. I really could have used those at the Grapefruit Falls, but no. Apparently not. I get a free diamond band, at least. So I guess Paula can uh, upgrade her defense. I always go for goods instead of equipment. What the hell? It is Paula's after all, so she gets a diamond band, so Ness and Paula can match. Mix and match. Ah! I questioned how that was a back attack. And again, I got another crit in that one battle. What the hell? Seriously, dude. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is it with me? Critical hits in this place! Maybe it's because the game wants me to get over this place, too. I mean, very thankfully, they only come after you one at a time, which is fine, which is nice. But, oh my god. Am I really just gonna get crit after crit after crit? Maybe this is a sign. Feral's Curse. Uh, who grew to level 48? I don't remember. Oh, Paula. <laughs> Paula gets to level 48. Uh, 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 okay. Let me see what that does. Uh, who got that? Okay. Feral's Curse. An ectoplasmic ooze that is disgorged out of a dreadful box, and the enemy may be poisoned. Okay. So it poisons you. All right. Oh my god, can we please freaking stop with the hieroglyph flare? Okay, so the hieroglyph enemies aside, this is still a relatively interesting place, you know. Lots of stuff in there, lots of stuff that we might be able to use at one point, but you know, it's a good place. I'm gonna throw away that uh, Feral's Curse. I don't need that because it's basically akin to the snake. And, uh,. I am going to give stuff to Jeff. I'm going to give stuff to everybody from Pooh. Oh, and also I'm going to equip that, you know, rain pendant. So, give me a mo. Oh, what the fuck? Same thing? Alright, cool. Okay, here are all my items looking. They're all that's left. Because this happens. A tornado shows up and old man. Well done. You have made it. We finally meet Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now's the time to show you the way of the star store. 
For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me, someone who you just met. Do you understand? Some... Again, I'm someone you just met. You can totally trust me. There is only one answer. I must stop you here even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? After all, we just met! It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It'll be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me. I will see you again. It depends on Pooh's efforts. That will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait for the ta-ta-ta. Okay, -ta -ta. bye. Uh, you, you're just gonna really take our other PSI user who just got Healing Gamma and also just got Thunder Gamma and you're gonna really leave our party just like that, Pooh? Really? You're, you're, you're you're just gonna leave us like that? Like, really? Okay. Well, I guess because Pooh just met an old dude who can show him the way at the Star Storm, he's a total stranger. I guess he has to leave because, you know, he has to learn the way at the Star Storm and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like we just got him. I don't understand that. I feel like we just got him. Like, he's been relatively good so far, but now he just got really good. And now all of a sudden, Ness has Sunstroke, and all of a sudden he just leaves? Pooh! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay, so with Pooh gone, I guess, it's back 2-3. Again. And... I guess we gotta go on without Pooh for a little bit. We're gonna continue on our journey through, you know, Scaraba Desert next time. So, see you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye! Pooh, your poop!